Hello everyone, my name is Alex Vossi and I'm going to talk to you about rates of change. Known also as slope, rate of change is defined as rise, the second y-coordinate minus the first y-coordinate, divided by run, the second x-coordinate minus the first x-coordinate. This basic formula has many uses in physics, economics, business, medicine, and biology, but that's not all they're good for. They can apply to everyday scenarios too. Meet Megan. Megan is a chemistry student at SCSU, and today she has a final exam. Like a good student, Megan got to campus early to give herself some last minute study time. Little does she know, however, that the extra time will be used for something different. As you can see, Megan has missed the bus. Now, Megan's classroom is 600 meters away from the bus stop, and she has 15 minutes until her test starts. So, to calculate how fast she'll have to run to get there on time, we take her rise, in this case 600 meters, and divide by her run, in this case 15 minutes. With that in mind, she'll have to jog at a pace of 40 meters a minute to get to her test on time. As you can see, Megan is not the only student late. These two are running behind also. Not very polite. So as you can see, it looks like Megan has reached the building with one minute to spare. Little does Megan know, she has one more obstacle in her way. With 20 seconds and 20 meters to go, Megan loses her books. With the unexpected delay to pick up her books, she now only has 15 seconds to move 20 meters. So, to see how fast she'll have to move to make it to her test on time, we take her rise, in this case 20 meters, and divide by her run, in this case 15 seconds. So, she'll have to move at a pace of 1.33 meters per second to make it to her test on time. As it turns out, Megan forgot it was daylight savings time yesterday, so she's actually an hour early to her test. 